remember last time we talked about having our project all organized, having our folders all in the right place so we know where all of our media is. And now that we have our project built right here, we're gonna start taking stuff down into this timeline. We're, I'm gonna show you guys how to really like do some editing stuff now, okay? So remember we're working with this, our subject. You know, I go in my raw media right here. And this is one of our clips in here, right? This is one of my, one of our clips of Anna. So let's say this is clip number two, right? So I'm just gonna take this clip and I can just drag it down into my timeline. And the first thing that Premiere is gonna do is it's gonna set this timeline to match all the sequence settings that match my footage. It establishes a sequence for me. Now Premiere is saying, okay, I have a sequence set up. You're like telling me, see these tracks don't have anything on them. You just wanna get those out of there. You wanna like keep your timeline tight. So you don't have a bunch of stuff on your timeline that you don't need that's getting in the way of all this space right here. Um, you can go right here on, on this side and make these bigger. I can just scroll on my scroll wheel and make each track bigger. When we shoot stuff, just like we're shooting right now, we shoot everything with two different microphones because you never know if one microphone is going to sound better than the other one or if one microphone is going to glitch out or not give you the right sound or be distorting or something like that. So we always track everything on the most number of microphones that we can. In this case, we shot Anna with two microphones, okay? There's one microphone sitting above her head right here called a boom microphone. That's a slate, like you'll see she does like, um, just our slate, we just use it on an iPad. And the reason why we do that is it gives us a place for all three of the cameras to sync up. So let me just back up. Now that I have this sequence right here, right? See how this sequence, I built this sequence. I want to name it. So what I want to do here is I want to make a folder. Now that I have a sequence in here, it just put it next to the footage that I had. But so I want to make a folder in here for my sequences. You know, so I have this sequence folder, right? So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna get this sequence out of here and then stick it in my sequence folder. So all my sequences are in here. We're gonna call this like, and I'm working at it. Like if I'm gonna just be working on edits, it's not like a final version. I'm just gonna have a working edit down here. And I'm gonna go in here and get, get it out of here. So see how it's gone now? There, my, that sequence is gone that we had that edit sequence, so I just click and boom, it's back again. So first thing I wanna do in here is go down here and get rid of these tracks that are empty and clean that up a little bit, right? So every time I clicked it, it's selecting everything. It won't let me select my audio separately. So you go right up here, link selection, you click this button, now it'll let you get it everything separately and move it around separately. And then it gives me a number there when it's out of sync. Now it's saying you are three minutes, 40 seconds and 17 frames out of sync of this. Okay, so you just put it back and you're cool. So I wanna get rid of these. I can lasso them like this and delete them. Or I can go like this. I can go right click, delete track. Right click, delete track. It gives me a couple other tracks on top of here. <laughs> But now we have this whole clip of Anna sitting here, right? So you can just, again, you can scroll all this and open it up. Now you can see that there's two different audio tracks here, right? One is the lav mic, lavalier mic, this one, and one is, is the boom mic. So we're going to kind of go in here and look and see which one sounds better. But the first thing I want to do is synchronize all these clips. So we're going to go into the media. We're gonna look at camera B. We're kind of looking down here just to see if these waveforms in general are similar and they are. See how these are kind of similar? So we kind of know that this is the camera that matches that take just in general right now. Then I go to camera C. I'll take this one and stick it there too. And that looks pretty similar too. See how this all kind of looks like it's matching. 
then it's me talking as a director, then she's talking. So we kind of know that that, that, that 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 works. And then see, I have these two dead tracks down here. So I'll just delete that or a dead track that was just sitting that had nothing on it. So then I'm gonna try and sync all these. Synchronize the audio. Bam, so see how it kind of moved this all a little bit? Now everything's in sync. Sorry, scene three, take one. You guys got that? You got synchronized? Yeah. yeah. Easy, right? Totally easy and it's pretty fast. This is a long clip. If you just ho hover over a clip, I'll tell you how long it is. See right there, duration, eight minutes, 36 seconds, 14 frames. So that's a long clip. So if, to synchronize that quick, that's pretty, that's pretty good.